2022 uh, Tennessee Titans to the 2021 10, 10 Tennessee Titans when breaking down their schedule here coming into week one. The Giants come into Nashville to take on the Titans. Quit being a fruitcake. I'm not a fruitcake. We'll, we'll talk about this off air, Drew. Anyways, week one. The Giants suck. I, I don't care if people are saying the Giants are going to be the best team in the, in the uh, uh, NFC East, the best, but the most approved. Jaquan Barkley is looking like a beast. It's, it doesn't matter. Give me the Titans week one. There is no doubt about it. Week two, the Tennessee Titans travel to Alpha Rob Stadium there in Buffalo to take on the Bills. Monday night game. The Buffalo Bills Mafia is going to be jumping through tables, going to be squirting ketchup on everybody, licking them. Uh Shaking babies and kissing hands. It's 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 gonna be weird over there. Give me the Buffalo Bills week one. The Buffalo Bills are gonna be a pretty good team. Since Titans are gonna be average. Man. Week three. Las Vegas Raiders coming to town to take on the Tennessee Titans. This game is intriguing to me because, like I said uh last night, are the Las Vegas Raiders gonna be good the first half of the season or bad? Because we always know the first eight weeks of the season are really good or really bad, and then, then they flip it around the second half of the season, right? I think they're going to be really good the first half of the season. Devontae Adams is going to be clicking with my, uh, with uh, Derek Carr. Uh, uh, Waller is going to be clicking. Uh, who is their running, running back? They're, 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 they're going to be good. Give me the Raiders week three over the Titans. Week four, division games. Titans traveled to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. These two teams always split every year, it seems like. The road team always seems to win, so give me the road team. Give me the Titans in week four over the Colts. Matt Ryan isn't ready for that running attack. He's he's Because he, Matt Ryan's playing linebacker that week, it, right? I mean, whatever. Week five, Tennessee Titans travel to Arlington, Virginia. Or, or, or Arlington, Virginia. Take on the Washington Commanders. Carson Wentz. Familiar foe here. Does Carson Wentz have a chip on his shoulder to beat the Titans? Sure, maybe. Like, I, I don't know. Have the Tennessee Titans found out their offense yet? No. They're still trying to rely on Derrick Henry too much. Is he getting shut down because Derrick Henry doesn't turn on until the second half of the season anyways? Give me the Commanders. Commanders week five. Week six, we got to buy. It ain't no saying, saying bye, 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 bye. Week six bye. Way too early bye week for the Tennessee Titans. A, a week four, five, or six, seven bye weeks are terrible for NFL teams, especially in a 18-week season, 17 games. Early bye weeks are bad for teams. But week seven, the Indianapolis Colts come into town. Tennessee Titans coming off the, off of the bye. I like picking home teams, especially home, home teams, coming off of a bye. I like it, and I like it a lot. Um, but like I said earlier, the Colts and Titans always seem to split every year, and the road team seems to win. But let me renege on everything that I said. Give me the Titans on a home game coming off the bye week. Week 8, Tennessee Titans travel to Houston to take on the Texans. Davis Mills is going to be good, guys. I like Davis Mills. I, I, I think the Texans are going to be a sneaky good team. This is a team that you cannot sleep on whatsoever for, you know. When we see teams that are, like, sneaky good, that are really, really good, they're just not going to, like, put it up in the win column. Um, the Jets come to mind last season. The Jets were a solid team. They just could never put it on the other side of the, uh, on like, on the column, column there. I think the Houston Texans beat the Titans uh, in that Week 8 matchup at Houston at, what, NRG Stadium, whatever, right? Week number nine, Tennessee Titans traveled to Arrowhead Stadium. Actually, is. G-E-H-A Stadium. Now, where the hell that is? It's Arrowhead, baby. Chiefs Nation. Chiefs Kingdom. Game of the Kansas City Chiefs, Week 9. Tennessee Titans are on a slide here, guys. They have now lost three of their last four. That's tough. That's tough. Week 10. Denver Broncos coming to town to take on the Tennessee Titans. Game of the Denver Broncos coming off a bye week. Wow, Tennessee Titans are struggling here. Thursday night. Tennessee Titans travel to Green Bay to take on the Aaron Rodgers and uh, who, who do they have as receivers? <laughs> Randall Cobb. Uh, seriously, who do they have as receivers? It doesn't really matter. Thursday night game, short work week, road team. 
traveling like a thousand miles. Give me Aaron Rodgers at like at home 100%. Man, I got the Titans losing four in a row right now. Is it five in a row week 12? Cincinnati Bengals coming to town. Playoff matchup again. Wild card game. Was it 16, 16, 13 in the wild card game? Bengals come back and kick a last second field goal. Evan Money McPherson kick of the game winning field goal. It's, it's not going to happen this, 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 this time. The Titans win. And the Titans win soundly this game. It's 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 going to be a very defensive slugfest game. So give me the Titans. Week 13, Titans travel to Philly to take on an improved, very much improved Philadelphia Eagles team, but they're not that much improved. Give, give, me, give me the Titans. Week 13. Week 14, they win one more. They're on a winning streak. The Jacksonville Jaguars come into town. A division foe, can they do it? Yes, they can. They can beat the Jacksonville Jaguars at home, giving them three wins in a row before they travel to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers for week 15. Give me the Chargers. Justin Herbert, that defense is – the Chargers are going to be a sneaky, sneaky – good. well, they, they're not going to be sneaky. The Chargers are going to be a good team. The Chargers are going to probably win the AFC West. As a Chiefs fan, that come, that makes me puke coming out of my mouth. It's gross. Week 16, Houston Texans come into town. Houston Texans have already beaten the Titans once this season. This is a Saturday game matchup. I don't, why is everybody playing Saturday week 16? Like, what is that? Is, is that like New Year's Eve or something? I don't know. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Give me the Texans week 16. I, 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 as I, I, I as I do think Davis Mills would be good, as my man Drew says, Mills is going to be a really good c- quarterback. He is going to be a really good place holder quarterback. Tell the tight or sorry, to tell the Texans find their franchise quarterback. He's a good place holder. And the Cowboys come into town to Nashville Thursday night game to take on the Titans. The Cowboys are a team not to f with. The Cowboys are a team not to F with. The Tennessee Titans are sitting at 7-8 and eight right now. They need to win these last two games to have a winning season and make the playoffs. The Cowboys take them at a playoff competition by whooping that ass at home, giving us a Week 18 matchup when they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. It doesn't mean much that the Jaguars win this last game, giving the Tennessee Titans a 7-10 and 10 record on the season. Yes, sir, you guys heard it here first. 7-10 and 10. For the Tennessee Titans, King Henry has found that cliff. 28-year-old running back. He times that by seven. He's 157 years old and running back running back years. Ten, uh, King Henry is done. Tennessee Titans are done. Their magical run to the playoffs in the AFC Championship game a couple years ago, it was just a fluke. Let's just be honest. With, with that being said, Ryan Tannehill, top 10 quarterback himself, out by the end of the season. I forget the quarterback that they drafted, but he will be starting uh, next year for sure. Ryan Tannehill will, will probably end up in Houston or Jets somewhere. He's not going to end up in the baby blue and red. Not going to happen. Ryan Tannehill is out at the end of the season. King Henry might play a couple, maybe one season after that. But, he, guys, this, this, this is the beginning of the end of the Tennessee Titans as we know it. They're in complete rebuild mode after this season. After this seven and ten, are they last in the end and the division? 